Hello guys! So today we will be taking a look at Chocola from Nekopara. This is going to be an unboxing and review. So let's get right to the unboxing. As you can see, this pop-up parade figure is just like any other pop-up parade figure with the transparent packaging, logo on the front, and the name of the character on the front. Very simple, um, not much to say. I think for a cheap figure it's fine, but if it was more expensive then I would be complaining about the packaging because it doesn't look that special. But for around 40 bucks, I think that's acceptable. Anyways, going to fast forward here because nobody wants to see me having trouble opening stuff up as usual. For the plastic that's around the figure, there are some um, tapes. But not too many, I think there was about 3 or 4. It's funny because the last figure I opened, uh, the Danganronpa one, they don't have any tapes. Which is strange because it was an expensive one. The figure and the base comes wrapped in regular plastic. Very simple, very small. And we'll be taking a look at that later. Let's take a look at the base. Usually they come in this shape and they're semi-transparent. So you can put it next to another one and it'll fit just fine. I think it's better that it's shaped that way because round ones take up so much space. Anyways, the figure goes in there pretty easily. And let's take a look at the figure now. So it's pretty small, it's compact, but you'd be surprised how much details it has. Keep in mind that I've reviewed other figures and I own other figures that I haven't reviewed that cost over maybe $200. And if you're paying $40, that's one-fifth one the price, but I don't think it's one-fifth the quality. Uh, I think that you could even pay up to 80 bucks for this figure and you wouldn't be so disappointed. It's much better than a price figure you can get nowadays. But if you start comparing it to other figures that cost over $100, you'll feel that there's more to be desired. But it's 40 bucks, so you can't beat the price. I really like her eye print. It's like um, red with brown with yellowish color and I didn't see any issues there which is very important because you know the face of a figure is like the most important thing even if the body and everything else looks great nobody wants an ugly looking face you know and also the body that's also important looks very nice you can see some shadowing on the, the socks or tights thigh highs and you can see shadowing on her hair I didn't see much going on with the clothes, but you can see the wrinkles and the frills are very detailed. I didn't see any issues there. The hair actually looks very nice. For something this cheap and small, I really like what they did here. Um, you can even see her panties if you're into that. And her shoes, I think, is the only part that's really shiny on the figure. And it's pretty cute. She has lots of accessories, like her headband, her bow tie or tie, her bell, her hearts and everything, and everything looks very nice. And you can see here for size comparison with an Android Kirby. Uh, honestly, I don't see any flaws except for this one part where the paint was like rubbing off. You'll see that now. Um, this was on her back. You can see where the ribbon ends, there is a white spot. That's where the um, paint kind of transferred onto the dress. But other than that, I didn't see any issues with the figure. For 40 bucks, I think you can even get three of them, <laughs> you know, instead of just getting one if you're into that. Uh, one to open, one to keep sealed. And one you can do whatever you want with, <laughs> I don't know. And she was released alongside Vanilla, so I suggest you pick both up. I'm going to be reviewing Vanilla next, so keep an eye out for that video. Anyways, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, or even more, just for the price. 
and it's very high quality. So thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.